I'm here today with Ken the Bug Guy. Hi, I'm Lisa Keating with Encino Mom TV, and in this episode of California Living, we are celebrating the Blu-ray and DVD release of this animated feature, Epic. And we're here at Fox in Century City, California, and we are going to meet Ken the Bug Guy, and he's going to inform us about some of these creepy crawly creatures that are featured in this animated film. Join us, won't you? How did you get started with uh, this business of being the bug guy? <laughs> well, I've been into animals my whole life. One of my very first pets was a pet, cr uh, pet grasshopper, actually. Um, one day I bred some mantis and had a bunch of babies come out. And I'm like, well, what do I do with these 100 babies? So I called up a couple local pet shops that carried reptiles and said, would you all be interested in buying these? And they, they said, sure, yeah, we'll give you this amount and bring them on down. And so I was like, hey, there's a business here. There's was something I really enjoy doing. So I slowly started uh, buying up or, or breeding and things like that to get my collection up and, and uh, started selling bugs on the internet. We go out and, at night usually and collect up uh, different kinds of spiders, scorpions and millipedes. So would you show me how you would collect a scorpion? Well, we first we would take, uh, we'd have some tweezers. Uh, we would also get a black light. The scorpions glow under the black light, so at night you can easily find wow. them. Wow, can you see this? Look at this. Look at There's actually uh, phosphates in their shell that reflect the UV light. So if we were out in the dark and you sh shown that down, well, we'd see them instantly. Yes, that's exactly how we find them, is they, they pop out of the, the surroundings. Are these dangerous? Well, most of the ones that we collect are not dangerous. There are a couple kinds. I've actually grown to be able to even recognize them under the black light by the, the how skinny their tail are. Um, the most dangerous one in the U.S. is called a bark scorpion, um, and we do collect those sometimes, but we use the tweezers. We grab them uh, by the tail and drop them into the container that we're collecting it. We let them calm down, then we'll uh, twist the baggie up and put it in our pocket and move on. This is called a vinegar room. Um, they're found in Arizona and, and West Texas uh, and through New Mexico. Um, they're harmless. They're such a neat looking bug. He excretes a mild form of acid. It's actually two, two forms of acid that are very similar to uh, vinegar and it smells like vinegar. Oh, okay. So if you're, if you're like a dog or a coyote or something, come up and you try, you're thinking about eating it, he squirts that stuff out and you get this awful smell of vinegar. No, on. thank you. Yeah. <laughs> they don't have very good eyes, so these are the way they, they see. They use these little feelers to feel where they're going and what's around them. So are those like little claws? They're little claws. They, they open up. This is how they grab their food. Um, they'll open these little claws up and just grab food, and you can't get away because it's got all these little spikes in them. Okay, I'm going to ask you another weird question. Is this a boy or a girl? Um, that one's probably a girl because of the, the claws and the boys tend to be a little thinner, and the girls tend to be more boxy. Because, you know, I don't know, I don't think about bugs. This is the Black Widow. Most people know, know what a Black Widow is, and as you can see, it's got the hourglass here. One of the more dangerous spiders in the U.S., although people don't tend to buy, die from their bite, you can buy, die from them. Some people can die from their bite. And where, where are you getting your uh, Black Widows? <laughs> I actually collect these in my shop. We have a perfect environment there for them. Crickets get out, so they got a food source. It's nice and warm year-round, um, so it just creates a perfect environment for them to live in. And you shut the lights out and leave at night. <laughs> exactly. You wait, wait about 30 minutes after you turn the lights out, and then we can go collecting in our own shop. <laughs> we got the biggest tarantulas in the world. It's called a goliath bird eater. A goliath bird eater? Their main diet consists of small reptiles and, and bugs in the wild. They will, if given the chance, eat a bird. If a small bird landed next to their hole, they would come out and eat it. But chances are the small bird doesn't land next to a hole very often. <laughs> All tarantulas have venom, but uh, none are known to be able to kill a person. Okay. Um, there are some that are very painful and can cause really bad effects, but they don't kill people. I would think that would hurt. It would definitely hurt. I've actually seen a guy that had a small scar on his hand where one of these bit him. Um, and he said it was pretty painful for, uh, I think, about a day is what he had painful effects from it. And so uh, who, who buys these? Well, uh, there's actually a huge hobby around tarantulas mainly, um, but around all the bugs. Um, also, we sell to scientific institutions, we sell to teachers, we sell to the movies. Um, 
and we even do shows and stuff and, and like help out with things like we did in the movie Epic. Awesome. <laughs> These are actually the same species of millipede, even though they look different. They just come from different regions, so they have evolved different colors for that region. So are these sleeping? Um, they're not sleeping. That's their defensive. They've got a hard shell like, like some of the animals in Epic. They use that hard shell to, to protect them against other animals. The birds can't eat millipedes because they're, they're poisonous if eaten. They're not, they don't have any venom, they don't bite or anything, but if ingested, they're actually poisonous. This is actually a U.S. Uh, species of tarantula. They're called Arizona blondes. Their venom is very, very mild. It's about that of a bee sting, and it's considered a docile species that you can actually hold. Really? Um, it's, it's considered a, a, a beginner species if somebody was looking for a beginner tarantula. Do you want to hold a tarantula? The little barbs on the end, the coyote would breathe those in, and it would start making his nose sting and itch. He'd say, forget it. I don't want that. Um, so that's, that's kind of their main defense. Their secondary defense is biting. Their venom is very low, so really the bite itself is probably going to hurt worse than the venom. The venom mm. just tends to leave kind of a numbing effect. We've got tarantulas that are blues, greens, oranges, reds. There are so many species, you'd be surprised how many and how pretty some of them are. I ship a lot in the U.S., and maybe a couple times a year I'll end up shipping overseas to somebody. These are the walking sticks. These are actually harmless. Uh, they even had a walking stick in the movie Epic. They blend into the trees. Camouflage is one of their important traits to help them blend into the trees. They look like sticks, of yeah, course. Yeah. Um, so when they're out on a branch, uh, predators won't see them. They'll see them as part of the tree. So that's their way of, of keeping safe from other animals. So it's kind of sweet. Yeah. The way it's kind of like going, oh my, oh my gosh. What's funny is they Thank actually so have much. wings. If you can see, they're little tiny wings oh that gosh, are useless yeah. now because they don't need them anymore. But, but at one time, they had wings that they could fly with and they evolved. In <laughs> he likes you. He just like me. <laughs> that was awesome. What about pesticides? Well, because that's actually something that we had to figure out because we can't use pesticides, of course, especially when we had tarantulas and stuff at the house. If there's invasion of ants, they can kill our tarantula, but we can't use pesticides to get rid of them because yeah. that would kill the tarantula also. So what we did is we went and researched and figured out other ways to help combat them. Um, one of those being putting down a, a strip of double-sided tape. The ants usually won't cross that. Um, you can put down Vaseline, you can put down oil, um, some kind of like, you know, mint oil or something like that, and all those things, they, they tend not to cross. Okay, that's good, that's good. Because, you know, in California, <laughs> we don't want to hurt any bugs. Right. Of course, we don't have, I don't think we have as many bugs as you do. <laughs> So KenTheBugGuy.com? Absolutely. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Ken. Thank you. Wasn't that fun? Thanks, Ken. Thanks, Fox. That's it for me today. I'm Lisa Keating from Encino Mom TV. And you can subscribe to our channel. I'm sure there's a button around somewhere. We'd love to have you on our next California adventure. I'm Lisa Keating. Thanks for watching. That's it for me today. No. Sorry. Wasn't that fun? It was so cool. Um, hey, you know what? You can subscribe.